the medical establishment finally have something good to say about these? That's what we'll be talking about on this week's Hopkins Research Update. Dr. Ye, in the current issue of Annals of Internal Medicine, your study comes to two important conclusions related to cigarette smoking and type 2 diabetes risk. Yes, that's right. So we have two major findings in our study. The first finding is the longer or the more you smoke, you have, there is an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. However, there is also a short-term risk of type 2 diabetes right after quitting smoking. How do we account for an increased risk of type 2 diabetes after someone stops smoking? That's a very good question. We think of because of weight gain. So as long as people don't gain weight and have a good control of weight, that will reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes after quitting smoking. What would you say about smoking in general? Well, smoking is bad for many diseases. It's bad for heart disease, bad for cancer, not just only for type 2 diabetes. So we would think people should not start smoking at all at the first place. 